Just first things first, Onyx will make a recovery. Hi, I'm Ed. And I'm Anna. We run a wedding business from Ed's family's 15th century chateau near Bordeaux. On this channel, you'll get to see what our life is like while discovering Bordeaux, surrounding area, and what the wine world has to offer. Hi, so for once, it's not very often, but for once I got a present. You lucky duck. You know what it is, I think, do you? Or uh, yes. It's I a birthday no present, idea. is that correct? It, it is a birthday present from a lovely person. This, uh, this scotch tape is really uh, strong, isn't it? Oh, is that the clue? Well, maybe. Oh. To add, oh no, the, always the way, Anna. Anna. Yes. Oh, I like mine. Beautiful color. Go on and read it out. Oh my God, it's a it, it's okay. I'll read the read the front, but there's a lot of writing, so I'm not okay, going to go through. The front, at least it's it's wind me. it's windy today. That's my best Scottish accent. No, it's Thursday. So I am. So am I. Let's have a beer. <laughs> Thursday, thirsty, Wednesday, windy. It's from Gillian. Oh. With a lot look of. At that. that looks really good fun. I'm going to read that after. Worries. So it's something to do with my back and my legs and stuff. So. Oh yeah, because that's, you, that's been, really kind. Yeah, I've been I've been struggling a bit with my back. I so. Even, yeah. It's been, been non stop. I mean, we only stopped a bit when Billy and Gwen came, and even mm. so, I mean, we stopped a bit. We still doing work, but a bit less work. It's good that it's a self um, kind of relaxation thing, because you really <laughs> don't ever give me massage, do you? So. I don't have the time, Ed. All right, well, that's brilliant. Thanks a lot, Gillian. Thank you, Gillian. You're a sweetheart. Let's move on to um, something a little bit more, um, I don't know, depressing in a way. <laughs> Before we move on, Ed, look at my card with the beautiful pink roses. I love it. Gillian is a sweetheart. Oh, and now some more less yeah. fun matters. Yeah. So the reason we've not put this vlog out as a premiere is because we didn't think it was like didn't feel it was right to kind of um, make people wait to know what's going on. Um, basically, uh, tonight's vlog's more about Onyx than anything else just first things first onyx will make a recovery uh, it won't be a full recovery but she'll make a recovery so i'd like to just before i go any further tell you about the story about our two dogs oprah and onyx um so i was looking for a canny corso because i thought it was a great dog family dog so that's an italian mastiff great family dog they look after chateau and uh, are really, really good with the family and kids, um, which is the case. Yes. Um, I was just looking for one dog and I found Oprah and I wanted this black canny corso female. Went to go and have a look and, you know, straight away could tell Oprah was a great dog. And then there was one dog that had been left behind and all quiet and kind of all sad and, and so um, when I got back, I said to Anna, I said, you know, I think maybe we should have two. Um, and so we decided to go for two and that's how, um, yeah, how we got Onyx, wasn't because it? Because we didn't want, well, we also didn't want uh, Oprah, Oprah to, to be, be alone. alone. So we yeah. wanted her to have someone and then yeah. what well, better than her sister. Yeah, so, so, I mean, we went for the two. Once we actually got them, Onyx was still timid, Oprah was still naughty. Um, and, she's my dog. And 
Um, Onyx chose me as her master and yeah. Oprah chose, chose you as her master. Um, well, but mommy and daddy. Yeah. Um, Onyx got bigger than Oprah though and yeah. when she got bigger than Oprah she became in charge, didn't she? Yes. So, um, so it suddenly, suddenly went from this timid dog to this absolutely massive dog that was in charge. Um, kids loved them and you know they're such a great family dog the you know of course any dog if you treat a dog badly then it's not going to do well with kids but they are absolutely brilliant with our kids um so and other kids. yeah and um people have been commenting recently oh i've not seen your dogs for ages why have we not seen them basically in summer when we have clients or when we have visits we do not let the dogs roam free um, in the whole 28 acres. Um, in winter, when we don't have clients, they can go wherever they want so long as they don't go onto the road. Um, and so this summer, we'd, we'd put them in a small garden, which is probably about 150 meters squared, so it's not really um, that yeah. small, is it? Well, but we had people with yeah. things, otherwise they were allowed to do whatever they wanted, yeah. be out with us and yeah. in our apartment but and things, but it's just because we... There's people that are scared of dogs, which is very sad. And people that are allergic, so of course yeah. we don't allow them in the chateau. One day we let the dogs out and Onyx and Oprah always kind of like run off. Um, go for a good run in the woods and in the vines and things like that. Came back and Onyx had a bit of a limb. I thought, oh, she just strained a leg or, you know, um, maybe at the worst case, a little bit of kind of early arthritis coming on or something like that. So we said, well, just see how it goes and it didn't it didn't shift um, and it seemed to be you know just as bad so we decided to go and see the doctor uh, the vet sorry and um, the problem was onyx didn't does not like going to the vet and will not go on a lead so it was really really hard to get it down there there was no way of giving her an x-ray or anything like that so we had to schedule in um, her being sedated to, to have an x-ray we did that and within a week um, we had to plan um, what we were going to do. Basically, she's, she had broken her cruciate ligaments in her knee, um, so they're both broken. Um, and so there were three choices in front of us. Leave it, which really wasn't a choice for us. The vet do his operation, which was like kind of the old school operation, which he said they don't really get much... Um, movement out of it afterwards and again that was like well not really but that was 900 euros and then the operation that we went for was a specialist um, coming in and operating on Oprah and um, and basically it was kind of like 90% of, of uh, movement that she had before so that's what we went for yeah. unfortunately it costs 2,000 euros, and we really don't have the 2,000 euros at the moment, but that's beside the point. Um, you know, what's more important for us is that Onyx has, um, you know, a, 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 a fun life, yeah? Yeah, she's back to how she was, and she, yeah, she's yeah. this yeah. loving dog. So, there is one other problem, that the reason she had this problem with the cruciate knee ligaments is because of... Uh, the breed and, and because they've been bred too close and the vet actually took a scan of her other leg and said he thinks within six six months a year she's going to have to have the other cruciate ligament done so it's not great news no. neither for onyx nor for us the hardest bit i think now is going to be the fact that she has to be in our kitchen for a month She's not allowed to do any running or anything. She's only allowed to go outside on a leash to go to the loo and things like that. Come back in. Um, and then a month afterwards, same again, slow. So she's not allowed to see Oprah for another month. So that's two months that they're not allowed to be together. And then um, basically she should be able to then kind of be normal. So she'll be able to be with Oprah and things. So basically what we're having to do is keep o Onyx inside for one month, put her outside for a month on her own, but we're going to leave her where she can actually still see Onyx and Oprah can still see each other. 
and uh, and then the month after she should be all right so that's going to probably take us into about mid-january something like that yeah but fingers crossed everything's going to go well because she's yeah basically the vet said 50 percent is the operation and 50 percent is the recuperation if we don't respect um her taking time out to relax and do nothing then it could ruin the whole process and that's it you don't get a second chance i hope it's gonna work mm. so here's onyx she's currently still on a little bit of morphine um, and some uh, kind of ibuprofen to bring the swelling down this is a leg that she's hurt still feels a little bit warm it's still a bit swollen i'll just cover her patch up because it's a little bit bloody but she's doing really well it's not majorly uh, hot so we know there's no infection there and um, we're going to go back and see the the vet in another two or three days and uh, she's actually putting her foot down already which is really good Strong news baby dog isn't she yeah so i'm going to take her for a walk and of course we won't show her going to the toilet but we'll take her for a walk outside <laughs> hmm She gets a bit excited when it's time to come outside, so she has to keep it. We have to keep it slow. Having to keep a tight leash because she gets too excited and wants to run, which she's not allowed to do. You can see she's putting the leg down, she's moving it well. Come on. So she's done a business. She's had a good sniff around. And now it's time to go and rest for another five hours. Come on. One thing the vet did say is that she's normally meant to have one of those cones on her head. So people are probably going to be commenting why she's not got a cone on her head to stop her touching her um, stitches and whatnot. Well, in fact, they said she was such a good girl, she didn't need it. But we do have it. We've got it just in case, but, but she's she doesn't touch it. She doesn't want to know it. So that's great news. She doesn't have to have the silly cone. And Emma is taking good care of her. She's giving her shortbread and she's sharing her sausage and all her food. I don't think she's feeling too well. Shall we give her some more sausage? Shall we give her some more sausage? Yeah. You're making sure she doesn't get out. Yeah, so she's on strict uh, 
well, bad breath pretty much. She can't walk too much. I don't know your doggy. You playing with her? Be. Are oh, you tickling her? You trying to tickle her? Nice to your doggies. 